welcome back. It has been a very interesting week since we got back from Rottnest Island, which we shared on our previous episode. Oh, a lot has happened. Vance, Vance decided to be highly dramatic, as he likes to be, Loves to be. on our trip sometimes. And his gearbox has decided to slowly be on its way out. Yeah. Right as we were about to make our trip up north, his gearbox started making this weird clicking noise. We took it to the mechanics and they basically said, you should not be taking this up north. So we are now one week later driving to an, another mechanic around Perth who has a spare gearbox from another T3, which is actually very lucky on our, our very hat. Very lucky. Yeah. Yeah. There's like none really in Australia and we just happened to get put in touch with this guy that just happened to have it, so. Yeah, yeah, so we're very lucky in that sense that there's even a replacement in Perth, in Australia, let alone. Yeah. Um, but we don't actually know if it will completely work. So today, we're on our way there. He's gonna take out our current gearbox, put in the replacement. Fingers crossed it works. If it does, we can continue our trip up north. If it doesn't, I don't even wanna think about that because that's not gonna happen. <laughs> So who knows what this episode is going to entail, but fingers crossed it's all good stuff and we're heading up north in the next couple of days. We will see! Alright, we have arrived. This is probably the most random mechanics we've ever been to, but he wrecks cars and VWs mostly, so... T3's look at, about? Look at that T3! Seen better days. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> that's not Vance. <laughs> Someday, Oh, That's nice. Those are nice. All right. Oh, I've got a few How's it feel? <laughs> it works. It works. That's the main thing. It works. Yay! It's nicer than it has ever been, which is a big bonus. <sighs> Absolutely <laughs> relieved. Just Absolutely have to fix that. Relieved. Fix that squeaking it makes. Oh, yeah, the old clutch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, such a relief. So good. Yay! All right, we're back on the road. Yes. Oh, so nice. So yesterday, it was just a big admin day. Now that Vance was up and running again, we just did everything that we possibly could in Perth before hitting the road. And now we're on our way further north. We're gonna stop at this place called The Pinnacles in Nambung National Park. It's just off the highway. I figured it would be a good stop. It's really windy and cloudy, but we're just gonna check it out. It's one of those places that it's like, we don't really know what to expect, we're just gonna pop in and have a look. Pretty cool spot, hey? So it's a cool story behind that as well. So the local indigenous people, in which I can't pronounce their name, so I'll put it somewhere. Um, this actually wasn't a place to like gather or do things was actually more of like a negative space because apparently the desert would swallow you so their idea behind the reason that the pinnacles are there is that if you go there you'll be swallowed by the earth and they're the the pinnacles are what's left of the people that are that's their fingers as if they're trying to scramble out of the desert which is kind of cool so pretty cool story for it really nice like little circuit to drive through super cool you can hop out walk around do whatever um so we just sort of zip through there now we are at a place called Sandy Cape, which is our campground for the night. Uh, we're just stoked to be back on the road. Still, like, we could definitely go a whole lot further, but we're pretty happy just sort of snailing our way out. Well, it looks like the sun's trying to come out, so might be able to poke over the hill, have a look at the beach. Just hang out all afternoon. It's just so nice being back, fully living out of vans again. Just whipped up some chais post swim. Ah, Delish. Back on the road. Mm. It's so, not the best day today. No, I don't even care though. It just feels so nice just to be back, like fully living in vans. So now we're gonna have these, and then we bought what is it called? 
It's like a booster, like a signal booster. So because up north, this, I mean, WA as a whole has been pretty terrible in terms of signal. Yeah. Um, we're with Telstra that's supposed to be the best for Australia-wide coverage, but even then it's been pretty bad. And up north it's going to be even worse. But to make sure we're still working from the road, hopefully still posting YouTube stuff, if the signal's good enough, we've got like a booster thing. So it takes our signal that we have on our phones that we hotspot our laptops and stuff and then boosts it hopefully. If we've got signal, no matter how small, we'll get more of it. So, gotta try, it set that up. Yeah, gotta try and set that up today. We'll have a bit of a play around and figure it all out and then hopefully we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that look so silly? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. All right, so basically, aerial goes to like a little modem that's gonna be under the seat. Plug it in there, plugs into our power, and then we've got another little like bit that basically takes what it's getting from the satellite or the aerial and then beams it through the van and that's like our own modem essentially. So it's as it would be at home except we're just boosting what we already have anyway. So apparently the height is one of the biggest things. So even just the fact that you can, it's almost like standing on a roof with a phone, but then you've also got a little bit more signal as well. So hopefully that should get us basically everything we need won't be up obviously all the time <laughs> no so it's really easy to just unscrew and take the aerial off because you could anyone could just take it please don't if you're watching this <laughs> uh, <laughs> and yeah so and if i mean if we want to keep it if we're using it a lot all i need to do is just loosen some screws and fold it down so that way if we still want to drive we don't have to drive with it up in the air we can just fold it down um, and then lift it back up when we need signal but keep you posted on how it goes yeah, I want to dinner. Curry's on the menu tonight. Kenny's cutting. Glennie's cooking. Success. We may have <laughs> done a bit too much. No. No? Just the right amount. Oh my god, there's so much food. Yum. 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 Curry time. <laughs> Stoked. So good to be eating our own food again. Oh my gosh. Not that we haven't really been, but we haven't been doing like a normal sort of prepping and eating as much good food as we normally would on the road. So it's been really nice. Plenty of veggies. Back to the old early to bed, early to rise <laughs> scene. Yeah, the sun is probably gonna set soon. I don't know, it's just been cloudy this whole time. We might, maybe the sunset will turn into something, but if not, yeah. we'll just cuddle down in Vance maybe watch some shows and go to bed early. Go to bed. Classic. Back to the routine. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Big cloud bank, but we saw the sun for a little bit. Woo! This will be our sunset. Woo! What is this? <laughs> Mr. Kangaroo. He's so cute. Get out of here. <laughs> wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, there you there go. go. Bye. <laughs> up and at them. We got up super early, just packed up vans and left because um, it got pretty crowded and there were some teenagers who parked right next to us. Don't be um, those people. <laughs> Rock up like eight or nine at night, park up like on top of us basically and then just play music and be loud. <laughs> it's fine like if it's at a free camp or like you're stealth camping and it's like it is what it is but it's annoying that like you pay for a place. Uh, I yeah, don't just know. Just be considerate out there. Yeah. That's the thought. <laughs> yeah, so we just got up and left basically. Um, continued our way up north into Greenhead and then on our way up saw a sign for, what is it, Milligan Island? Milligan Island. We'd heard about Milligan Island. Um, it's also a camp spot as well. It looks nicer, like more separate plots. I believe it would be the same price. I didn't see a sign up, but um, it looks really, really nice as well. And the coastline seems nicer than Sandy Cape too. So. I think if we were coming back through here, we'd prefer to go here. It's only like a little bit further north of where we stayed last night. Yeah. Um, but I think this whole coast looks pretty cool. So we've just been exploring along the sort of dirt road that follows this whole area. And it looks beautiful. It's just we wish the weather was a bit nicer. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like partly cloudy. I don't know. All these places, it's, again, it's such a tease because you know that the water is so clear and so blue. But it's just pretty grim right now. So I think we're just going to keep driving well, it's cloudy and then hopefully the sun will come out a little bit later.
camp for the night. Not bad, a little free camp. Still just side of the road, but nice and quiet, actually. Other than that noise, which is dinner. Leftover coke from last night. Lots of driving today. It's been a big day of driving. Seen some cool stuff, but excited for tomorrow. We're gonna to go check out the National Park at Calberry, uh, which is where we are. Don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and probably go on a hike or two, suss that whole thing out and then end up on the coast and have a look at the coastline there. I'm not too sure how long we'll stay because it looks so beautiful here. So we may have a couple of days here depending on the weather and the sights. But right now, bit of tucker, bedtime. Good morning. We are now in Calvary National Park. Sadly, the main loop, so there's the loop circuit that's like nine or 10 Ks that also includes nature's window. That was what we wanted to do. That's actually closed since um, the recent cyclone came through here and damaged heaps of areas of Calvary, sadly. So won't be able to do that one, but we're probably gonna check out nature's window, check out the new skywalk thing they've put in and then have a look at Z Bend, which is another smaller hike that should be quite pretty as well. But first, nature's window. So cool. So pretty. Everywhere you look. What do you think, Lenny? Bueno. How good are the flies? Pretty cool. So many flies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so beautiful. All right, back to Vance for some brekkie and coffee. So this is something that we only recently found out, but if you ever buy milk in these types of containers and when you pour it out, it always like glugs and like, oh, you know? <laughs> when you're pouring it, it's not a smooth pour is basically what I'm trying to say. But we saw that you're supposed to pour it this way. Amazing. If you know, it's a big deal. Oh, it's got a bloody bug in here. Get out, Mr. Bug. Oh, you saved him. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, back to the important things. <laughs> wow. Wow. We've done it again, Glenn. <laughs> again. We've done it again. Countless days. Just hard work. <laughs> Just hard work. There you go, my love. Thank you. Yes. Hike view. Okay, <laughs> Brecky and Coffee are in us. We are pumped ready to do the Z Bend River Trail. First goes to the lookout and then you can go to down like, on into down the river. Into it, yeah. All right, we're literally like five minutes in and we're already knackered. <laughs> we, we haven't, it's been so long since we've been on a hike. We've been so lazy, my word. Disappointed we're not doing the big hike, but it's probably best for us to be honest. <laughs> This is so cool, but look at this branch. It looks like a guy's rock climbing. <laughs> How funny. Maybe it was a man once. Maybe that's an indigenous story, huh? Yeah. How good does the water feel? So nice. So nice. All right, time for the hike back up. Hopefully it's not. <laughs> too hot and looks like we're probably going to be doing it mostly in the sun so that'll be nice 
Um, we're just gonna get back to Vance and then check out the new skywalk. Should be pretty cool. Not so fun change of events. Vince's window won't go back up. It just won't, won't go up. Nothing happens. Oh. It's like the thread. Uh. Oh, <laughs> no, it'll only go down. It'll only go down. Yeah. Oh, no, so it's just not staying up. Okay, so I think we figured it out <laughs> after yeah. a lot of banging, a bit of yanking, yanking, shaking, but now I don't trust it. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> now I just don't trust, don't trust this window. I, it's going to fall at any second. No, I'll be right. Look at that. No one All right, let's in. put the door back together. <laughs> All right, after that debacle, <laughs> time for a swim because We're it's so it. hot. We're, We're just gonna go it. for a little dip here and then make our way back to camp. Shower for the day, check. There's only one free shower actually around Kalbarri, but it got damaged in the uh, cyclone, so adapt, overcome and improvise. Salt water, not the best, but Refreshing on this lovely warm afternoon. Oh, so warm. So warm. Good morning. Just made our coffee. We drove into the town of Kalbari to a place called Pot Alley. <laughs> Just went to a beach, a few beaches north of Pot Alley. Don't know exactly what it's called. And there's a wave. It's a little wave, a little left. So Glenn's Stoke. gonna Glenn's gonna go out. The Hopefully. Sun's trying to come out too. Oh yeah. We'll see. I think it'll yeah. be a, it'll be a good day. Yeah. There's only three guys here. Get out there. Nothing. Alright, that was a fun little surf. It was really nice. Also met um, Keelan out in the waves. We're from Sarah and Keelan's Travels. Check out their channel if you haven't already. Um, so now we're going back to where we were this morning, but this time we're gonna have a dip. So nice and hot. It's a really cool little bay, so nice little cooler. Thanks so much. Wow. for a swim but we'll be right we'll be right let's get in jin, 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 jin. oh my god <laughs> oh no 